All right, guys, so let's rebuild this tiny little electric motor. This little guy is 1800 RPM and it comes off of some sort of hydraulic pump. You already know the deal. We got to identify our connection. We have to pull all of these copper wires out. We have to count these copper wires and we're going to want to put back in exactly what we took out. After we've blasted this thing with walnut shells, we got it completely clean. And to be honest, I'd rather be outside, but there's work to do. We can insulate all of the slots of this electric motor that's going to protect our winding from ground. These are concentric coils, which means circles inside of circles. It takes a little bit of practice to get these coil sizes right, and then I do have to reshape these also after they've been inserted. And what's interesting about this one is it's consequent pole connected, which means we're going to use these six groups of coils here, and we're going to be able to make four rotating magnetic poles. Now, this is all going to be done by how we connect the electric motor internally. We're going to braze all of these connections. We will tape them. We will sleeve them. We will stick them on a winding analyzer. And once we've verified it's electrically sound, we're going to energize it. So we'll pretend we're turning this boot on and then off, and then this boot on and then off, and then the last boot on and then off. Now we're going to flip this last boot on again, but we're going to flip the direction in which the current is flowing, which is going to change our magnetic pole. Now we're going to do that at 60 hertz, which means we're going to be doing that flipping on and off 60 times per second. Now I'm only putting 21 volts into this thing, which doesn't take a lot of voltage to get that magnetic field going, and our current is going to be up towards our nameplate rated current. If you guys haven't drank bubbler, it's actually pretty good stuff, and it makes a pretty sweet little test rotor we can stick in there. Now this one's 700 horsepower, 4160 volts, only 92 amps because our voltage is so high. But the biggest rush that we had this week was this little guy right here. This was the most important one and the one that was needed back the quickest. So you really got to understand that size doesn't matter. Cheers, guys.